Hello, my name is Miko Reed and welcome to the Miko Music channel. So today I wanted to do a video, it's long overdue, I wanted to do a video on tips for being a successful giggy musician. Okay, tip number two, always come prepared. That goes without saying. Tip number two on tips for being a successful musician, tips for being a successful gigging musician is always come prepared, have an extra set of cables, mic stands and equipment, etc. Um, one musician that I work with, she gave me some good tips. She said, always have um, an extra spare of whatever it is that you need. She's a horn player. She plays the sax and I play the sax as well. And one gig that I was on, because I had a gig the previous day, I couldn't believe this. I was so stupid. I forgot my mouthpiece. I forgot my ligature on my sax. I forgot my reeds. I forgot the neck on my saxophone. No, actually, I had the neck on my saxophone. Saxophone case was empty. So the whole horn wasn't there because it was in my other case that I had used the night before at another gig that I did the previous night. I, I was, oh my God, I was panicking. I was freaked out because this was a big gig that I was doing and it was a high paying gig. So I was freaking out. Luckily, the gal that was on the gig, she had she had brought her second, you know, her spare saxophone, and she let me use that saxophone. So uh, luckily, I had my mouthpiece with me, and I also had the neck of the mouthpiece, uh, the neck of the saxophone. I didn't really need the neck, but I brought that, and I actually happened to have an extra neck strap in my case as well. And then I had um, I kind of was digging around, and I found some um, spare. I found some um, reeds for my saxophone as well. So that was saved. But there's times when you're on a gig, if you're not prepared for it the night before or the day before or the day of, you're gonna be missing something. I've heard horror stories. I've heard people that, I've worked with some girls, they played saxophone, oh, I forgot a whole saxophone on a gig. You might think that that's the stupidest thing. How can you forget your instrument? That's what you're playing with, right? But when you're, you know, life gets busy and you're playing, and you have multiple gigs some people have like three gigs or two gigs in, in one day that does happen that can happen so always just rule of thumb always have an extra something or whatever it is that you have when i have i am also a singer i always have a spare mic stand in my trunk when i'm playing saxophone i have three mouthpieces in my case i have four ligatures I have multiple reeds. I have two um, Legere reeds. I like the synthetic reeds. I like, I like those. Those are my favorite right now. And I have three neck straps. Um, I have multiple cables, um, XLR cables. I always bring two. Microphones, I always bring two. I have my handheld wireless mic as well as my mic that I have to put the XLR cable into. I have that as well as a spare. And also it's good to bring a spare mic stand for another musician or another singer because I've had that happen before where the singer, they just forgot to bring the mic stand and I said, well, I have one in my trunk. There you go. So I brought it and they used it. So it's also good to always have a spare um, microphone holder, you know. I always have, um, I have the universal one where it holds all different sizes and different types of microphones. So it's always good to have that as well. So I always bring that too. But always bring two of each thing that you know that you need. So um, I don't have a spare iPad. That's in the works. That's a little bit more expensive to have that. It's always good to have a backup uh, that you can have access to those songs. You have your cell phone that you can use, a cell phone holder, your um iPad holder, I have another one of those too. It's always good to have an extra one of those, so you never know. Thanks for watching my video. Again, my name is Miko Reed, and my channel is called Miko Music. I give commentary on music, commentary on pop culture, commentary on relationships. I really appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so it'll notify you of new up and coming videos that just have recently been uploaded. I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks for watching. Bye.